guys, what's up? Retro Shinobi here, coming to another video. Uh, as you can notice, probably, I'm not at my apartment. And that's because I got an insane deal that I have to show you guys. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to kind of go over the story and then I'm going to go over the lot. This video, you know, is meant to be weekly content, but this is just such a big deal that everything else I'm going to push off to next week <laughs> and then show this stuff. It's, it's a lot. So I was on the phone with my dad and I was showing him a deal on Facebook Marketplace I was thinking about getting in my area for a 3DS lot. Um, and he started looking in Facebook Marketplace in his area here in Illinois. And let's just say that this is, <laughs> this is an absolutely insane deal. So he went and picked it up. I'm going to just say at the start, he paid $600 for the stuff I'm about to show you. So it's a good amount of money to spend on a lot, especially, you know, for buying and selling. It's definitely not money that I personally have right now to be able to spend on, on a game lot. Um, so with that in mind, not most of the stuff is going to be sold to recuperate money. Um, to make a little bit of money and then basically the deal is once that amount of money has been made back um and a little bit of profit has been made um for the investment and into the money the rest of it uh that i'm going to be selling is going to go into the game collection so you know this is kind of like i get all of these games i'm going to be doing the labor of selling them and then I'm going to get paid a little bit to be able to, um, you know, buy more games for the collection. But before we do that, I want to start with one game that I bought at a GameStop right here uh, in Illinois. Um, I actually got really lucky. Um, this game is hard to find physical in general. This is the first time I've ever seen it physical. And this is a rare variant that I didn't even know about. So apparently... I'm just going to show it. Yakuza 0 for the PS4. I've been playing a lot of Yakuza Like a Dragon, so, you know, perfect timing. It's in pretty solid condition. Um, just the disc, no manual. Um, like I said, pretty solid condition. Uh, apparently, I looked this up, uh, the blue variant, so not the, play, the PlayStation Greatest Hits, the, the regular one goes for about you know like high 30s to to low 50s it's actually really surprising and i think it'll j only jump up from there so this is definitely a bolo um you should definitely look out for this i paid um it was 19.99 and then i got the five percent off so i think it was like 18.99 or something like that um it you know super cheap Super cheap, uh, and it's it's something that, you know, you can still catch GameStop slipping. So now, I'm going to get into um, this insane lot. I'm going to start with the console, so give me a second here. Okay, so this is going to be really impromptu, because I didn't bring my tripod. This is kind of a last-minute thing. Um, but I'm going to show all of this stuff kind of in generation order it's a lot so we're gonna start with this Atari 2600 uh four um knobs not one but two and this is the vader version which I don't really think is worth anymore. I looked it up and I couldn't really see a price difference. Um, it used to be that the regular one was almost worthless and the Vader one had some value. So, I don't know. Two of those, there are games with most of these consoles I'm gonna go over after I show off all the consoles. Next, we have a very yellow NES. Um, I think I might try and do the, I think it's called retro brighting to get this, um, to be nice and clean. I want to try that out. 
because um, it's super yellow. And I think that would be pretty cool, like for a video maybe. Um, next, we have Sega Genesis Model 1. Uh, solid console, but that's not it. Sega Genesis Model 2, but that's not it. <laughs> Sega Genesis Model 2 with Sega CD. Now, I have tested this. Uh, it does have Sewer Shark in there. I've tested this, um, and I can't seem to get the CD to run. I'm going to try and do a little more when I get back to Iowa. Um, I think I might be missing a cable for it. I'm not super sure. I'm going to watch some videos and, and kind of figure it out. I think there's no problem. There should be no issues with it. It's out of these three consoles, it's the cleanest one. So should be no issue. Next is a dirty, but also pretty clean uh, Super Nintendo uh, Junior, I think is what this one's called. The, the mini console. Uh, this works. Tested it for some of the games I'm gonna show later. Um, this is really cool. I'm thinking about keeping this, holding on to it, you know, uh, buying out, buying it, uh, so to speak, uh, because most of the stuff is gonna get sold, especially the consoles. Um, next, we have something I'm gonna have to grab something else for. have a Nintendo 64 and uh, no expansion pack sadly um, but it did come with something else that I think is pretty cool it came with a box and inside the box is the guy's original receipt for when he bought the N64 now the serial number on the receipt does not match the serial number on the console. So I don't really have uh, too much of an issue selling the console or the box because there's not that connectiveness. But I am going to keep this and I'm probably going to add it to my Nintendo 64 box for the Arctic Blue, even though, you know, and then there's one more console console. And that is a yellow PS1. Original, um, like I said, this is this is also very yellow. So I would like to try and do that, that whole retro brighting thing. I think that could be pretty cool. Um, there is a box full of wires for all of these. And then there are two more consoles. I'm gonna grab those. Like I said, this is <laughs> this is a uh, arguably a deal of a lifetime. Um, this is a Nintendo DS Lite. If you can see right there, there's some damage. Some like you know maybe they dropped it. Um, but other than that, it's a really clean silver DS Lite. Um, it has the the Game Boy cover. The only thing is it does not have the original stylus. This is a purple stylus. They included a couple other styluses that are third party, but you know, that happens all the time with DSs, so I'm not really mad. And then the other thing, which I think is really cool, that we're going to be adding to the collection and doing some modifications on them and be showing some of that, uh, you know, in later videos, is the PSP 1001 uh, the PSP Fat, so to speak. It has a, uh, you can see right there, a crack there. And it has a crack in the bezel up here. Um, so it is damaged, but it runs perfectly. Uh, it's actually, other than that, it's actually in surprisingly good condition. Other than, you know, the one that you see all PSPs, that silver ring right here has some scratching. But, um... All of these had uh, chargers and a couple of games with them, so they, they play and work perfectly. Um, and there are games for for all of this. So uh, it's going to take a while to go through it. 
This is an insane deal for $600. I'm sure some of you are doing the mental math right now. And in the consoles alone, we're, we're pretty much there at the $600 mark. So I'm going to get into the games now. I got to move all these consoles around put them back in their box and then get all these games so that I can, I can show these off in a, in, a, in a normal way. Okay, before I do that, I want to show really quickly. This is the box full of all the different power cords and controllers. It is a lot. <laughs> so, all right, I'll get into the games now. All right. So we're going to start with the Atari games, which came in this big old thing. You can see quite a few. I'm just going to go through them pretty quickly. There's a lot. We've got Mousetrap, Moonsweeper, Kaboom, Gopher, Frogger, Dragonfire. Strawberry shortcake. Centipede. Uh, I think this is Fathom. I couldn't, I couldn't be sure though. Uh, let me set these down. We got Pac Man. Three Way. Word Zapper. Haunted House. Warlords. <laughs> Warlords. Video Pinball. Riddle of the Sphinx. Combat. I need to look all these up. Um, the most expensive one I saw was like $18. We've got Frogs and Flies, Super Challenge Football. They, just, they wrote Rock Game. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what this one is. It could be, I mean, it could be anything, I guess it's a Rock Game. Uh, Dark Tavern, Space Attack, Lock and Chase, Super Challenge Baseball, Kool-Aid Man. This is the one that was $18. Uh, and then International Soccer. So a lot of Atari 2600 games. Okay, the rest of these should go a little smoother because there's less games and I have them kind of situated behind the, the camera magic, so to speak. Uh, let's go into the NES games. Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. Classic. We've got Excite Bike. Little shoot up there. You know, it is what it is. Top Gun. And the last NES game is Super Mario Bros. 2, which is actually very crisp. Uh, so that's nice. Um, <clears throat> let's go into N64. I'm going to save the best for the last, so definitely stick through to the end if you want to see the absolute insane Super Nintendo Grail that I got. It is it's actually crazy. So for the N64 games, we have Banjo-Tooie, which is actually in beautiful condition. Just got to get that sticker off. And then another one that's a great game, but it's just plagued by rental stickers. You've got Harvest Moon N64. It's got this huge rental sticker on it from Movie Mania in Cold City. Shout out Movie Mania. I'm sure you're not around anymore. Um, and it's got one of those N64 stickers that this one did too. So I think this might be able to come off, but I don't really want to mess with it, you know? So I end up tearing the label on these these older games. It's just, you get an old sticker on an old label and you just, it's better not to touch it. So we are going to go into, um, might as well do um, PSP. So not a lot. Uh, we've got PSP Volume 1 Sampler Disc. Just the disc only. Um, Rogue Pictures Unleashed. Again, just the... The UMD only. We got Sims 2. Ooh. A little loose in there. Just complete. Uh, and then there's also a Burnout Game, but that's in the console right now, so I'm not going to mess with that. Um, next, let's go over the DS games. A lot of these are cartridge, no case. We've got Lego Star Wars, The Complete Saga. I think this is also uh, a Lego Star Wars game. Lego, or not, Star Wars The Clone Wars. Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squadron. Star Wars The Force Unleashed. I think you, this guy might have been a Star Wars fan. We got Bakugan. Scribble Nuts. What's Cooking, Jamie Oliver? And Mario Kart, yes. Now, what was a nice little bonus, even though these don't have the cases, is that almost all of them if I can grab these, have manuals. So, whew. 
Star Wars Force Unleashed, Star Wars Clone Wars, Bakugan, What's Cooking Jamie Oliver, Lego Star Wars Complete Saga, and Mario Kart DS. All have the manuals, which is very wonderful, very sweet. And then the last game for the DS is Yoshi's Island DS. Ooh. It is complete, but in the stack of manuals. <laughs> they also have a manual. You know, sometimes it's, it's really interesting because it's like, how do these things happen, you know? Uh, there's also one Game Boy Advance game, and it's a good one. Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, Four Swords. And as you can tell, it is in very good condition. This is probably one of my favorite Game Boy Advance games because it has A Link to the Past on it. I played it a lot growing up. Okay, um, let's get into the Sega Genesis. There is a lot of Sega Genesis. If you couldn't tell from the, the three consoles. Sadly, the Sewer Shark, I think is what it was called, is the only game that's in the console and it's the only game for the Sega CD that he had. So uh, I don't know what he was using the Sega CD for, to be honest. We're going to go with cart only first. I believe most of this stuff is cart only. It's possible that, yeah, I believe most of the stuff is cart only. So we have Sonic 2, not for resale. Family Feud, we got from GameStop for $6.99. I wouldn't pay $6.99 for Family Feud. We got Shaq Fu. NFL Quarterback Club, 96. Menacer. You know, some of these are in varying conditions, and sadly the ones that I want to be in good condition aren't the ones that are in good condition. Uh, NFL Football, 94. We got the WWF Royal Rumble. Miss Pac-Man for a dollar. They must have got that in like a garage sale or something. Jeopardy. I'm a, they love getting Jeopardy at the GameStop. $4.99. Uh, let's see here. Mortal Kombat 2. Sonic and Knuckles. They paid $2.99, which is a phenomenal deal, to be honest with you. There's Sonic 3D Blast. This is where we get into the good stuff. Game Genie. Fantasy Star 2, as you can see, not in the best condition. You know, this is a pretty valuable game, um, but, you know, the condition is everything, especially for these kind of games. And then the last one, another sad example of bad labels, Thunder Force 3. And they just, you know, they were hungry. They took a, they took a bite out of it. If it didn't have the top intact, I wouldn't know what game it was. Now, a good thing about most of these um, ones that are not complete is that they're almost complete because they have... Oh, wait, no. I'm thinking about something else. Ha ha, never mind. Those ones are <laughs> those ones are game only. Now we're going to get into the ones that are complete or, you know, have their cases. Sega Classic, Sonic the Hedgehog. Complete. Sonic Spinball. Complete. NBA Jam, they bought for $2.99 this idle tech place. You know, that must have been like a like a old game store or something. If anybody, you know, knows anything about that, let me know. It's complete. We got Mortal Kombat 2 again. That's what I learned because some of these games are like repeats. So, you know, it must have been like maybe their brother or sister or like an uncle maybe had games and then just gave them their games. This is complete. This one is in worse shape though. It doesn't even have the top part of the label on it. It's just, it's just blank. Uh, they paid $5 for Taz Escape from Mars. And I don't know if that's a reprint manual. Or if that's just how... I've seen a lot of um, Genesis games have that black and white manual. I don't know if some game companies just printed them. Or if it's maybe like a rental thing. I'm not too sure. Anyways, to continue the quiz games, we got Jeopardy. And it's complete. I don't think I've ever owned so many copies of Jeopardy for the, for the Genesis. We got Echo, The Tides of Time. They spent $5 for it. You know, if I saw in the wild, like, Genesis game complete in the box for five bucks, I think I would buy it. Regardless of what it was, this is Echo. Complete again with that black and white manual. Uh, you know, somebody, somebody should in the comments just educate me. We got WWF Super WrestleMania. And it's complete. Okay, let's see here. WWF Raw. Complete. We got T2, the arcade game. Complete. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> um, okay. We got Sega Sports NFL 95. This thing is falling apart. Um... I don't, even want to, I don't even want to open it. It's, it's definitely seen as better days. We got Lethal Enforcers Gunfight. I think this is... Oh, yeah. How about that? Blockbuster Videos. That's cool. 
I might hold on to that just because that is, you know, that's really neat. And the game itself, uh, no manual, but it's got the sticker on the back. Blockbuster. That's really neat. That's a piece of history right there. Um, ESPN Baseball Tonight. We got Tasmania. No manual. What are you going to do? We got Steel Empire. No manual. We got Jurassic Park. I don't feel a little light. Yep. No manual. Let's see here. We got Sonic 2, not for resale. Again. Complete. Got Echo the Dolphin. Complete. We've got Aladdin. Complete. Most of these are complete. That's what I'm getting at here. <laughs> That's right. Complete. Let's stick right there on the menu. Or on the game. Sonic 2 again. I love Sonic 2. Complete with all these little bonuses in here. Little uh, posters and stuff. Pretty sweet. Pitfall. And you know it's complete. Five dollar runes that they spent for X-Men. It'll be up, but it's complete. And then we've got for the 32X. I wish this was in better condition. This is from Blockbuster Videos. Doom. Uh, I do believe, if I look in here. Well, looks like the cartridge is in there. I don't see... I don't see the manual. So it looks like we're dealing with cartridge and case, but as you can tell, this case is flattened. Somebody sat on it. Uh, and then last but not least for the Genesis stuff, definitely not least, we have, boom, Rocket Knight Adventures. And would you know it? It's complete with this little, uh, Konami is offering you a reward for your information. You know, nowadays they just take our information. They don't even give us a reward for it. So that's pretty neat. That's like a $75 game. And it is pretty good condition. Pretty fun game, too. If you haven't seen it, uh, you know, definitely check that out. Awesome game. Let me put these up. And we can get into the Super Nintendo. Okay. Super Nintendo. There are a lot of games. Actually, I'll be right back. I kept the good one in hiding. All right. <laughs> Let's get started with these games. We got Mario Paint. Good shape. We got awesome game. Battletoads, Double Dragon. Good shape, that one too. You know, sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes the good games are in good shape. We got Mortal Kombat Ultimate. I got a little hungry there to bite. Out of the top two. Super Caesar's Palace. Donkey Kong Country 2. It's in all right shape. That ridge right there is usually what wears out if anything does, if they're, you know, well fed. We got Super Mario All-Stars. It's in good shape game that is being added to the collection. Some of these are being added to the collection. Some of the Genesis games we didn't have, they're going to be added to this collection, not the collection in this video series. Um, I just didn't feel right, you know, because I'm not necessarily paying for it. So having them just be added to my collection doesn't really sit right with me. I am doing that with some of the consoles. The Genesis Sega CD we're keeping and the PSP we're going to keep as well because I'm going to replace the case with uh with one of those aftermarket cases and then you know maybe do a screen update and kind of show you guys how that works anyways alien 3 very nice you can see the video in it and then we've got super mario world classic also very clean and crispy well it's a little faded up there but no big deal lemmings looks like whoever was in charge of the super nintendo games generally kept them in pretty good shape um we got frogger a little bit of damage up there at the top. We got the Lion King. Pretty good shape. We got, sadly, this one is a little damaged. Turtles in Time. You see up there, there's a little damage right there, and there's also damage right there. This is an awesome game, though. This is one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. Uh, it's, it's an issue how many of the Super Nintendo games that I love are very expensive. You know, yeah, Chrono Trigger, you got Evo, <laughs> you got Turtles in Time. 
Why can't I, why can't I like, uh, you know, Caesar's Palace? Why can't I like Jeopardy? Anyways, now we got the final game. This is a game that some of you might not even know is a rare game. If, <laughs> if my dad hadn't watched a video highlighting the most expensive Super Nintendo games like a couple of days prior to this deal, he probably wouldn't have even known himself. I didn't know until, I, until you know, he said, is that that game? And then we looked it up. That game, the beautiful, beautiful game, is Arrow Fighter. As you can see, this is a rental copy. I've not opened it to, you know, guarantee its authenticity because this sticker, first of all, the sticker is yellow. This like uh, tape is like yellowed. And this, uh, that's how I know the video's gone on too long. Um, my phone ran out of storage, so I had to delete some stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna try to come and try to close this up pretty quickly. Okay. Arrow Fighters. Uh, I looked up Second Chance uh, video and they are out of business and have been for a while, it looks like. So uh, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that this is probably legit. I mean, you see this old sticker that you don't really see anymore and it's kind of worn down and, you know, you've got this worn out um, like security strip. I, I I think this is a legit copy, you know, even though I haven't opened it up. Uh, it is, this is what it goes for on eBay. Uh, this is the lowest one that's up right now on eBay, actually. It's actually, it's insane. You know, I I, I might have looked this over at, at a store or, or, or somewhere. I say, oh, it's just a, it's just like a, like a, <laughs> it's just, a, it's just a plain game. Why would I care? But this is, <laughs> this is, you know, $1,600 is uh, probably not what this one would sell for. This is definitely staying in the collection, though. This is, like I said, this is a grail. Even though it's not in perfect condition, it is a grail. Um, it's just, it's it's insane. And even without this game, this lot is well, well worth $600. Uh, I think there's there's no issue with um, with getting all these games sold and making a steady profit and then adding games to the collection. There should be absolutely no problem with that. Anyways, uh, I am going to go into the uh, game collection stuff and we're gonna close out. So thank you for sticking along if you did. This is definitely a little bit of a longer video, but there, there's just a lot of stuff to go over. So thank you if you stuck through all the way. We'll get into the recap and then we will close out. All right, guys, this is the current state of the video game collection. Uh, this is after the two systems have been added in. It's saying that the PSP 1000 console is worth $65 and the Sega CD Model 2 is worth $202. Uh, and then in the games, um, they finally have a, have a, a price for the Grand Blue Fantasy Relink Deluxe Edition. So that shot up the price. And then uh, Yakuza 0 is coming in at 40 Now, if you look at price charting for this game... It's a little, it's a little under value, I think, because if you actually look at these prices, you know, you do have the thirty nine ninety nine, but before that you have a fifty five, a forty five, a fifty, forty five. You know, and there are a good amount of them at forty, and it looks like it's very recently gone up in value, but you know, uh, I think that that's the trend that I'm seeing on eBay. And that's the trend that we should be following uh, when it comes to that. But I understand why price charting has the average over a course of, uh, you know, uh, however many months that they do that. So the collection summary is at $5,576 total with 95 entries. That is all that I have for you guys this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. This was a crazy video. If you've made it all the way to the end of this very long video, I just want to thank you so much, you know, for supporting the channel and following this through. I hope to see you guys next week. This is Retro Shinobi, signing out.